Module 4, uh, along with Module 2, which is the case studies, are the two parts that you will need to pass to acquire full driver CPC status, but you must pass Module 2 first before you can take Module 4. Afternoon, Mrs. Hillis. Yes. Hello there. Hello. See your driving licence and photo ID, please. Thank you. When you arrive, you'll need to provide your driving licence, and we'll be looking to see both parts of that licence, the card and the, the counterpart part. Obviously, without those, we won't be able to go ahead with the test. It's lovely. Thank you. You lead the way to your vehicle, please. Well, the first thing I'll be looking to do is to put you at ease. Just introduce myself to you. See your name, Sophie. Would you like me to call you by your first name? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Super. Uh, I'll just be giving you some basic details about what the test entails, how long it's going to last, that kind of thing. It's going to last about half an hour. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask you some questions under five topic areas. Okay. okay. I'd just like to point out to you that it is a demonstrate type test. Therefore, yeah. when I ask you the questions, I'll be looking for you to actually demonstrate your answers to me rather than just tell me. Okay. One of the questions you could have is on boarding or alighting disabled passengers. You would be asked to demonstrate your knowledge of how to do that safely. If you didn't bring a vehicle up that was Disability Discrimination Act compliant, I would show you some pictures and ask you to describe by pointing to the pictures uh, a range of questions on that subject. Looking at these pictures here, mm -hmm. which are disabled parking areas? OK, that will be this one here and that one here. OK. My next question to you now is on the security of your vehicle and contents. In this particular question, I'd like you to show me how you check all of the passenger seats on your vehicle for comfort and safety. OK. You're looking for the seat to be secure to the floor, cushions to be secure, seat belt conditions, uh, the cloth conditions, no sharp objects, that kind of thing. You could be asked a question on illegal trafficking and immigrants. Uh, as you know, this is a, a, a very large subject area at the moment for crime, um, and it's important that you are aware of your responsibilities as a driver, and that you are aware that you need to make checks to your vehicle, for example, before crossing a border. I'll, um, I'll start with the, um, the wheel arches. Okay. Because uh, obviously that's uh, an easy way, an easy place to uh, store little packages and everything. The last question that you will be asked on all of the combinations that we do is your daily vehicle safety checks. These are the checks that you would be expected to make before you drove the vehicle out onto the road. All right, um, now I'm going to um, check the lights. That's the first one. That's a dip. And that's a high beam. At the end of the Module 4, if you've been successful, you'll then receive a pass certificate and through an automated process you may receive a driver qualification card for full CPC status. The purpose of the Module 4 test is to bridge the gap between the current practical driving test and employers out there being confident to employ you. It's demonstrating that you have the practical skills to bridge between just being able to drive the vehicle and being able to deal with all the things that are involved in the real world.